Over the last year, we have mobilized the entire federal government to address this crisis. North Carolina Congressman Richard Hudson was at the White House as President Trump signed a bill aimed at curbing the opioid crisis. The measure is designed to boost access to addiction treatment, fast track research for non-addictive painkillers, and help North Carolina, as well as other states, use the $8.5 billion to address the epidemic. The president signed the legislation within one year of declaring the opioid epidemic a national health emergency. CBS 17's Mark Meredith learns what the administration has accomplished since then and reveals what's coming up next. President Trump signed into law a bill he hopes will be the most comprehensive effort yet to fight America's opioid epidemic. Together we are going to end the scourge of drug addiction in America. The bipartisan bill comes one year after the president declared the opioid crisis a public health emergency. Under the new plan, Medicaid will expand services to treat mothers and babies suffering from opioid withdrawal. The Postal Service will share more information about incoming packages with U.S. Officials, and the government will support more research into pain management alternatives. Neurosurgeon and HUD Secretary Ben Carson says Americans need to better understand how powerful their medicine can be. But well, we need to help people to understand how easy it is to get addicted. While the majority of the bill is focused on the opioid epidemic, officials say it'll also help people struggling with any form of drug addiction. We also want to take care of those uh, who have become addicts and figure out how to transition them back to uh, society whether it's through job training and education programs. But the president says the government can't do it alone. He says he's thankful companies like Amazon and Walmart are stepping up to help employees and customers fight addiction. Together we will defeat this epidemic. It's a true epidemic as one people, one family, and one magnificent nation under God. In Washington, Mark Meredith, CBS 17 News.